So I don't know if you know this about me or not, but I am a golfer. I don't think I've talked about that on this channel before, but whatever. One of the things I like to do is when I travel, I will go to different golf courses. Um, a lot of them here in the state of Michigan where I live. And when I go there, I collect a golf ball. And the reason I'm telling you this is because, let me go ahead and flip this around. I have this little rack. And as you can see, the rack is full, completely full. And it's not just that the rack is full, it's that it's been full, right? You can see there's a golf ball sitting up top here. Uh, let me spin this around. Sorry for the whiplash. There's some sitting right there. I've got some sitting in my golf bag. They're kind of all over the place. So the idea here today is I want to replace that rack. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and design something up, get through the first iteration and see what it looks like. All right, I got a little excited, pulled it out of the printer, pulled off the supports, forgot to hit record. That happens. Either way, here's the first iteration. I obviously need to make some updates. Um, this is way too thin and, and flimsy, right? As a matter of fact, the other side ripped off of it. But the positive news is it came out looking like the design. It was able to print and with, you know, without too many problems. Um, I think I should be able to do it with no supports. The other issue is, is that this little stick is way too thin as well and it doesn't really thread into here like the way that I designed it. So let's move on to doing another iteration, fix these few things, and we will take a look at that. Here is iteration number two. And I think I fixed a lot of the problems from the previous one. So this is obviously quite a bit thicker here. And um, overall, I think it should hold up pretty good. Obviously, I still need to add some threads here and make the block a little bit bigger, but I'll go ahead and do that and we'll get it exported. And then we should be able to uh, get this printed out and I think it'll work a lot better. By the way, this, the way that I'm able to move this all around like this is amazing. I got this for Christmas. It's called a space mouse. Here, let me change the camera angle here. This thing highly recommended. It is literally like grabbing. It's like grabbing the object and moving it. And it changed the way that I do design. I've only had this for like a week and a half and it is amazing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this printed. All right, iteration number two. This is much better. So like I showed you in the design, this is thicker in the back. The whole thing is, is uh, thicker. So it's not just that this itself is wider, but also like these are several millimeters thicker. So a lot more support. Um, and let me grab a golf ball here. Um, golf ball fits in it. Cool. Like that. It's a good, it's almost a good fit. You can see here that it kind of stretches it a little bit. And I, I, I made it a little bit smaller than the golf ball. So I don't know what I was expecting, but I got exactly what I was asking for. Uh, I think I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to make it exactly the size of the golf ball so it doesn't look, I don't know, not exactly round, which to me, it just bothers me. Um, and the other thing that I that I think I'm going to change here is that while this works and I can thread this into here, I'm not positive I actually need that. I just want to go and make something that maybe is like a whole row. So let's jump back to design software and uh, make that update. All right, iteration number three. Now I was able to add the bars on the back, drill some holes here for attaching, get it made so when you print more than one of these, you can connect them together. Obviously the top one is different than the bottom one because the, to the, the top one just has holes in it here and the bottom one is the repeatable piece. So you'd have to print one of these and then as many of these as you need. I went four wide. Um, I think that's what's going to fit on the build plate, but we'll find out in a minute. And uh, I also filled in the holes here on the top. It just didn't really make a lot of sense, and it was actually more difficult to print without them or with them, so took them out uh, of the design. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this one exported, and we'll take a look at it. All right, here we are again, iteration number three. This time, I am really satisfied with how these turned out. Um, so... Again, like you saw in the design, it's a full row and the rows snap together and that's really no problem. Snaps right in there. Here, let me try to get that on camera so you can see how that works. Yep, snaps right in there. Um, the golf ball fits much better now, so it's a, it's 
it's a tight, it's, it's, you know, you can spin it around, but once it's in there, it's in there. It's going to be hanging on the wall. Not a big deal. Um, got the, the holes here to be able to mount it. Obviously there's one in each row. And so there's four screw holes and there'll be more as time goes on, but you don't really need those. You only need the, the top one because the rest are all kind of sandwiched behind. So I think that should be, that should work out really well. Just a couple screws holds this whole thing in. The, uh, the one thing that I don't like about this is that it's only four. I realized after I put it on the build plate that I could fit five on here. I decided to let this print just to see if it worked, but I don't think this is the final version. So I'm going to make a five version and we'll give that a shot. All right, final iteration I'm hoping here. Now I started back where I had four instead of showing you the five right away because I wanted to show you how I got to this. It was actually a little more complicated than I expected. So here's the four and I just rewound the timelines. So we'll step it forward here. So I ended up splitting it here and here, like up and down, and then separating out the pieces and pasting it back in. So essentially I took that repeatable chunk in the center and just like threw it in there and then, and then I don't know what the word is, uh, combined them back together uh, with, with Fusion here and then we're done. So here's the five ball version and this will fit on the plate. I already checked it and now we can go ahead and get this printed and uh, hopefully this is the last one. All right, here it is. Look at that. I think this turned out really nice. It doesn't even fit on the camera, but that's okay. I'm gonna do another shot of installing it, but essentially the same thing as the the four up design, but now with five and um, yeah, I haven't really changed anything other than that. So let's go ahead and get it installed. See how it looks. so well. Love that. All right. Oh man, so amped about how that looks. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. And the funny part is, is I printed rows, enough rows that I thought was enough for all my golf balls and it's totally not enough for all my golf balls. I still have three more sitting over here. So that's kind of the beauty of this though. I'm just gonna print another row, go ahead and slap it up there, keep adding my collection. Thanks for stopping by and watching all the way to the end. If you like this sort of stuff, hit the like and subscribe button on your way down to the description. Down there, you'll find a link to this 3D model so you can make your own, as well as a link to the Space Mouse and any other products I may have mentioned in this video. And until next time, I hope it helped you learn faster. See you soon.